Hi, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be reviewing Fast and Furious 6. This one, they probably took notes from the previous movie because this one had a very straightforward plot. It was just basically, alright, these are terrorists, they're trying to steal stuff and sell it to a high speeder or something like that. Here's the heroes. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, like, he knows them, he's, he decides, okay, uh, I can help you get stuff off your record if you help us take these guys down. Alright, gotta got stop this guy. Simple. Straight to the point. Bunch of nonsense action stuff, there's a tank, there's a 10 mile long runway, and it was cool. It was a fun ride. Did it make any sense physically? No. But, you know, after a while you kind of just forget about it. If you let yourself enjoy it, it's a really fun movie. This is probably the best in the series in my opinion. I'm still not really a fan of it, but, you know, it, this one I think is the one worth buying. if you had to pick one. I liked how it connected one of the earlier movies in the after credit scene. Like When I first saw that scene in the original movie it was in, it was just kind of, eh, okay, whatever. I didn't really know that guy too well. I mean, he, I liked him better than the other characters. And then watching it now in this movie, it's it became, whoa. Okay, admittingly that made it a lot more badass, and I, I want to see where this goes. So... Surprisingly, this movie actually did make me look forward to go see the next one. So, I would have to say this movie was great. If you like this review, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.